track reviews. Hey, 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 everyone. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. Hope you're doing well. And it's time for a track review, where I, I review not, not a new track. This is not a new track, although this is a track that I wanted to talk about at the time that it dropped, but I was just knee-deep in List Week stuff and distracted with that. And uh, I'm very well aware of the whole futsal shuffle dance craze that came along with the clip uh, that Uzi dropped over here. Lil Uzi Vert, rapper, songwriter. That's who we're talking about, obviously. Futsal Shuffle, his last big single of 2019, uh, which again came off of this uh, social media dance clip that uh, gained quite a bit of traction, and now we have an official music video for that song and for that dance. Uh, Having said all of that, I don't plan on talking just about this song, but also about my thoughts on the limbo period that little Uzi Vert is currently caught in with his musical output and with his label. But still, I wanted to hear the full-length version of this track before I say anything about that. Lil Uzi Vert, Fusil Shuffle, 2020. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a try. Oh, uh, ba bam. Okay, new track from Little Uzi Vert, sort of new track. Um, personally, I like the song. I mean, it doesn't go uh, way too long like I thought um, New Paddock did. And I like the very synth heavy, hyped up beat. It's most certainly a dance track. I mean, the groove of it, the way the bass hits, and also the stuttering and clubby synthesizers that play throughout the track, too. Just want to get your feet moving. It is a physical, euphoric, blissful vibe. I can't deny it. Um, I also like Little Uzi's flow over the track. It's a little hooky, catchy ditty. Uh, There's not a whole lot of contrast across the song, but that's kind of the case for most Little Uzi Vert tracks. I mean, uh, if you're expecting kind of a big change up or a big hook on a Little Uzi Vert song in 2019 or 2020, uh, you're looking in the wrong place. Uh, Little Uzi Vert songs just kind of (laughs) create a feeling and they just sort of disappear after lasting for long enough to and get you hypnotized into whatever it's doing. So while I think this is fine, and it's certainly better than some of the other singles, uh, the loose singles uh, that Lil Uzi Vert dropped throughout 2019, I don't know what about Lil Uzi Vert's music is taking so long to release and what the holdup is. I mean, there has been rumors and talk uh, that it's all about his label and about his uh, industry obligations. There was a point in 2019 where Lou Uzi Vert was threatening to quit rap altogether, I guess, over the inability of him to uh, release new music. And while I know that labels like to properly parse out and plan releases, even in the age of streaming, where it, it just seems to matter less than it ever has, most rappers who have transitioned from the SoundCloud world into the major label world have come out with more music or have been more prolific or have come out with tapes that are just like, uh, and projects that are amazingly long because they're just trying to hit us with as much material as possible. Meanwhile, Eternal A Take is like nowhere to be seen or heard and Lil Uzi Vert is threatening to quit rap forever. Like the fans absolutely want and deserve more. Lil Uzi Vert deserves to drop whatever music he wants to drop at the pace that he wants to drop it. As someone who's seen him go from this huge viral sensation to one of the most celebrated rappers in his lane, it's been absolutely frustrating seeing his output just screech, just grind to a halt. Look, even though I've been following Uzi's recent output and I'm aware of all the headlines that have led up until this point, I don't ultimately know what is keeping Eternal Take from coming out. But judging from the opening of this song, it's clearly still a thing. This track was pretty good. New Paddock was fine. Every other track on it is most likely just as good as these, probably not that much worse. Can we finally have this album in 2020, maybe? Can we finally give Uzi a bit of artistic freedom and just let him release what he wants to release? Let's see, maybe 2020 is going to be the year. Fingers crossed, I suppose. I'm going to leave it at that. Those are my thoughts. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano. Lil Uzi Vert, 
Futsal Shuffle 2020 forever.